Dear all, I would like to welcome you all in the playlist of sensors and transducers. In this video, I'm going to discuss in brief about attenuator. You must have heard about amplifier. Amplifier is a signal conditioning device which provides gains to the circuit, where attenuator is another type of signal conditioning device which creates the loss to the circuit or it reduces the gain, we can call like that. So we'll be discussing in brief about attenuator. In this presentation, I'm going to brief up what do we mean by attenuator? Where does it use? What are the types of attenuator used? And what are the applications? Let us move on the basic information about attenuator. What do we mean by attenuator? Basically, attenuator is a two-part resistive network. It's a two-part network. Have you ever heard about two-part network? So I'll be drawing one simple diagram. See, like this. You can mention like this is a two-part network. Correct. One pair of input, another pair of output. Correct. One pair of input and output. So this type of network is called as two-part network. So there are different type of topologies like set parameters, T y, par y parameters, ABCD parameters. You must have learned in network analysis. So attenuator is basically a two-part network. The main purpose of attenuator, which reduce the power of a signal, the purpose of attenuator to reduce the power of a signal. Okay. And uh, we'll be saying it is basically an electronic device. It uh, mainly reduce the power of a signal without any appreciably distorting its waveform. That is a speciality of attenuator. Okay, loss, there is a limit, but not that much. So attenuator will be available in the form of symmetrical. Also, it is available in sometimes asymmetrical. Similarly, there are fixed type of attenuator and variable type of attenuator. Both the varieties are available. We'll be discussing the type of attenuator in the coming slide. Usually, attenuator will be expressed in terms of decibel, like uh, capacity of attenuator, 0 to 100 decibel, 100 dB. Like that, you can see the rating of attenuator in the data sheets. Some cases, you can see napper is also another form of units of attenuator. So attenuator can be rated in terms of decibels and napper. Those two points you have to remember. Similarly, as I mentioned early, you can look at the last point. It's in the slide. Amplifier provides the gain where attenuator provides the loss. Both are opposite. Clear? I think the slide is clear to everybody. I think you got an idea what is an attenuator. So it is one of the popular signal conditioning device. As you can able to observe, there are different varieties of attenuators available. So the first diagram that represents RF type attenuator, radio frequency, RF attenuator. Similarly, you can see this is another type of attenuator, it's a power attenuator. Okay. You can make a note of this. So uh, for example, some attenuators are called fixed type of attenuator. The speciality of fixed type of attenuators are uh, it is mainly used for reducing the voltage, higher level of voltage to buck action, reduce the voltage and uh, dissipate the power. All right. Similarly, improve the impedance matching. Okay, some cases impedance matchings are necessary. At that time, we can use uh, this type of fixed type attenuator. Okay, this is regarding the fixed type of attenuator. In the coming slide, I'm going to show you the varieties of attenuator and topologies. There are many more topologies are available. Okay, if you know the basics of two-port network, that will be really useful. Okay, now we'll discuss the varieties of attenuator. So attenuators are divided like a resistive type attenuator, then symmetrical T attenuator, fixed type attenuator, L type attenuator, pi type, optical type, and the programmable type. So usually we use resistive type attenuator. So there are different varieties of resistor type attenuators which is available in the market. So let us look at the first diagram. All of you can concentrate the first diagram. This is a pi type unbalanced attenuator. It's a pi type. 
फाइव टाइप अनबैलेंस्ड एटेन्यूटर अनबैलेंस्ड एटेन्यूटर ओके स्ट्रक्चर विल बी लाइक अ फाइन नेटवर्क बट इट्स अनबैलेंस्ड सो वी कैन सी द इनपुट एंड आउटपुट बेसिकली ट्यू पॉइंट नेटवर्क इन द राइट साइड यू कैन सी ओके सो प्लीज रेफर दिस इज एक्चुअली कॉल्ड फाइव टाइप फाइव टाइप बैलेंस्ड एटेन्यूटर ओके so here you can see the input and output port basically a two port network when when it comes to the third diagram this is a t network no so it is basically a t type t type unbalanced attenuator okay unbalanced attenuator in the right side fourth diagram it is also a t type but it's a balanced type t type balanced T type balanced attenuator. You can make a note of this. Okay, here you can able to observe all elements are made up of passive components. It's a resistive network. It is basically a potential divider. Okay, it is basically a potential divider. You must have known about potential divider in the basic electrical engineering. Okay, this is basically a potential divider. Correct. Uh, and it follows the voltage division formula voltage division rule so these are the different varieties of uh, attenuators which are available so usually the re resistive attenuators are commonly used similarly you must have heard about uh, ofc cable optical fiber cable so uh, there will be sending end and receiving end so in between we require attenuator so uh, optical attenuators are quite commonly used in ofc communication optical optical fiber cable ofc it is mainly used for communication telephone cables and all you must have heard about that similarly programmable type attenuators are also available in the market okay but it uh, mainly works based on ttl logic transistor transistor logic okay these are the varieties of attenuators now let me ask one question to everyone what are the applications of attenuator so we have discussed many points about attenuator many topologies available it works based on the potential divider principle especially in case of uh, resistive type attenuator okay also different variety so i have uh, ex explained all the varieties but let me ask one question where does it use so uh, main applications are number one it is used in the communication i already mentioned about ofc optical fiber cable optical fiber communication it is mainly used also impedance matching okay for example you must have heard about maximum power transfer theorem so in that some cases impedance matchings are very essential so at that time uh, we can go for this kind of attenuator also uh, the protection circuit because i already mentioned that as i already mentioned that the attenuator reduces the power correct no so to protect the circuit power level has to be minimized some cases at that time you can go ahead with the attenuator that is another importance so uh, some cases we can say that attenuators are used for test laboratory especially hb laboratory high voltage laboratory and all we can uh, really use attenuator okay because voltage level will be different now so we can go ahead with the attenuator so these are the different applications of attenuator so by the way ultimate intention is that attenuator is a signal conditioning device you should know what is attenuator it's a signal conditioning device like amplifier it to perform the action just opposite to that of amplifier and we have discussed the importance uh, different topologies ultimately the applications let me know if you are having any questions you can put up in the comment box i am very happy to answer those questions finally thank you very much for watching uh, watching this video and uh, keep supporting